Welcome to DCE Digital Learning. This is BSc Mathematics Algebra Theory of Equations class and in this class we are going to discuss solution of equations when roots are irrational numbers. First recall rational and irrational numbers. The real numbers of the form p by q where p belongs to z and q belongs to n is called the set of rational numbers and the real numbers which cannot be written in this form are called irrational numbers. Pi e square root of 2 square root of 5 cube root of 4 1 plus root 3 2 minus root 6 etc are examples of irrational numbers. Rationalization factor of an irrational number of the form a plus root p is a minus root p so that a plus root b into a minus root b equals a square minus b is a rational number. a minus root b is called the irrational conjugate of a plus root b and vice versa. Solution of equations when roots are irrational numbers. We are going to discuss a theorem known as irrational root theorem. Statement the irrational roots, if any, of the equation f of x equals 0 with rational coefficients occur in conjugate pairs. In other words, if a plus root b, where a, b are rational numbers and b is greater than 0 and is not a perfect square, is a root of f of x equals 0 with rational coefficients, then a minus root b is also a root of f of x equals 0. Let us look at the proof of this theorem. Let the given equation be f of x equals 0 equation 1. Let a plus root b where a b are rational numbers and b is positive and is not a perfect square be an irrational root of f of x equals 0. Now consider product of x minus a plus root b and x minus a minus root b which is equal to x minus a minus root b into x minus a plus root b which is equal to x minus a whole square minus b equation 2. The polynomial in equation 2 is a polynomial with rational coefficients. Let q of x and r of x be the quotient and remainders obtained on dividing f of x by the polynomial in equation 2. Since the polynomial in equation 2 is a quadratic polynomial, degree of the remainder r of x is equal or less than 1. So let r of x equals mx plus n where m n are rational constants equation 3. By Euclid's division lemma, f of x equals x minus a whole square minus b times q of x plus r of x, which is equal to x minus a whole square minus b into q of x plus mx plus n equation 4. Put x equals a plus root b in equation 4. We get f of a plus root b equals a plus root b minus a whole square minus b into q of a plus root b plus m into a plus root b plus n equation 5. Since x equals a plus root b is a root of equation 1, f of a plus root b equals 0. Therefore, equation 5 becomes 0 equals b minus b into q of a plus root b plus m into a plus root b plus n which is equal to 0 times q of a plus root b plus m a plus n plus m root b. Therefore, m a plus n plus m root b equals 0 equation 6. Equating the rational and irrational parts of equation 6 
we get MA plus N equals 0 equation 7 and M root B equals 0 equation 8. Since B is greater than 0, equation 8 gives M equals 0 equation 9. Equations 7 and 9 give n equals 0 equation 10. Therefore, equation 4 gives f of x equals x minus a whole square minus b into q of x equation 11. Therefore, by factor theorem, x minus a whole square minus b is a factor of f of x which implies x minus a plus root b into x minus a minus root b is a factor of f of x which implies x minus a minus root b is a factor of f of x therefore a minus root b is a root of f of x equals 0 this completes the proof Remark, the condition rational coefficients in the theorem is necessary. For if this is not true, an equation might not possess irrational roots in conjugate pairs. For example, roots of the equation x cube minus 8 plus root 2 x square plus 17 plus 6 root 2 x minus 8 plus 9 root 2 equals 0 or root 2 plus 1, 3 minus root 2, 4 plus root 2, in which none of them are conjugate to each other. Let us look at examples now. Example 1. x raised to 4 plus 2x cube minus 16x square minus 22x plus 7 equals 0 is an equation with rational coefficients and its roots are 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3, 3 plus root 2, 3 minus root 2. Clearly, irrational roots appear in conjugate pairs. Example 2. x cube minus 3x square minus 2x plus 4 equals 0 is an equation with rational coefficients and its roots are 1, 1 plus root 5, 1 minus root 5. Clearly, irrational roots occur in conjugate pairs. Important conclusion from the theorem. Every equation of odd degree with rational coefficients has at least one rational root. That's all in this video. Thank you.